today I'm going to show you how we're going to fix up a stretched canvas that has had a, a hole either torn or punched into it. So what I've done is I've taken up, taken up the small little uh, stretch canvas, a brand new one, and I'm going to deliberately um, damage it so that I can show you how we fix it up. So I'm going to take this um, craft knife and I'm going to cut a piece into it and you can see there where I've cut the hole. What I'm using here is a small bottle of uh, super strong PVA glue. You can use any uh, cold glue. You can also see now a, a, a small piece of uh, a canvas, of an old stretch canvas. Actually, I have a big roll of uh, loose canvas that I use. I've cut a, a, a small piece off and I'm going to take this one piece now and you can see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to just trim the corners. I'm going to give it a rounded edge and just trim that a bit. That is just to stop the corners from lifting off at a later stage. So there it is, and that will be used just now to glue that over there. Now because this has been a, a stretched canvas, you can see that um, it has opened slightly and that will leave little indentations. So what I've done is I've got some um, acrylic texture paste and uh, I'm using that to, with a painting knife to fill in those cracks. And, and level it off. This you have to do while it is completely dry. I've left this to dry um, after I patch it up for over a half an hour. And then I'm going to just sort of fill that up a bit. And then when it's dry, you can come and then just put over the light sanding go over that. And if there's still a slight indentation, what you do is um, you can fill that up with, with your paint. The texture paste has dried. And uh, now i am taken one of these nail uh, nail files and I'm now going to sand it smooth. Just put a bit of pressure behind there and uh, now I'm going to smooth that off so that you don't have any ridges, especially on the Now I'm going to take some gesso and just paint over that. Obviously if you work, if this has happened to an oil painting, you won't be able to use the um, texture paste. You're going to have to just use the paint thickish paint and uh, cover, cover it up. 
Now I'm going to put the hairdryer on it and then put some paint over it. Just in case the camera doesn't show where the uh, uh, place is where it's fixed up. It's right at that point there. Now I'm going to put some paint on. And paint over that area. Now the fixed up area is right in the center of that. I can carry on painting and uh, nobody will even know the difference.